take one. Editor, come a law for a minute. Okay, come on, there's plenty of food. Oh, oh, he's walking. Yeah. Push his way through. How do you do then? Hello. Hey, make sure you give our Maggie a twirl, won't you? She gets too down in the mouth. You're not like sisters, you do. You're always <laughs> laughing at things, you, aren't you? Well, what's life without a giggle? <laughs> Mrs. Walker, I wonder. Mrs. Craig, have a wait, please. Yes, I'm so glad you've come, Maggie. What do you want to eat? Do you like it? Yes, I'm afraid. Mrs. Walker, could I uh, come through? That's dear. Bert, will you take over? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, come on, give me a hand. The Russian bride to be. Hey, you're being sarky. Hello. Well, come on, Laffy boy, give us a kiss. Hey, did I just see Maggie going through? Yes, but... Oh, uh, Billy, come here. Give this lad a drink. He's putting a blight on party. You can soak your... He died before the ambulance got there. Yes, I know. I'll tell her, shall I? No, I think I should. It's just, uh, with all that going on, it's... Uh... Hey, Maggie, what are you playing at? The mayor wants you to go to the ball. Elizabeth? Oh, and she's hot in there. I shall melt. I shall be a puddle. Well, I will be by the time my Cyril gets here. Uh, Betty, about Cyril. Oh, don't worry, love. He'll be here. After the talking to I gave him on the phone, it's more than his life's worth not to be. Elizabeth? Oh, yes. Will you come with me? Hey! That's when the maestro is for settled down. You see. <laughs> Look, just in yeah. case you think it's just a foul rumor, I've got to tell you that Rita and me are finally engaged. Yeah. 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 Time you made an honest woman of her. Well yeah. said, Mrs. Sharp. Yeah. I think it's yeah. taking you long enough. Oh. True. <laughs> well, it's always the way, though, isn't it? I mean, when they get their claws in you, you do. Oh, save more life. Yeah. Rubbish. Yeah. Absolute rubbish. I was laughing. I said to myself, I'm all right, Jack. Uh, the best of both worlds. Yes, yeah. why not? Because you can't get it. It can't be done. Because there's still some decency and honesty left. Because oh. even a worm will turn. <laughs> well, this one, as I'll tell you. Well, I'd just like to say, in more ways than one, as this community has every reason to know. Here, here. And if, if my first lady was here. Now, she correct me, I know, but there's something, I think it's from Shakespeare, about sealing the bargain with a kiss. Oh, well, that's what I think you ought to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean. Oh, 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 Len, could you call for quiet, please? <laughs> Hey, just a minute. A uh, bit of hush, please. Up now. Mine hostess wants to have a word. It's all right. I've made a speech, love, but you're very welcome. I don't think I will be, Len. I wonder when she'd turn up. Oh, trust her to put her on. Oh, Len. now, Mrs. Cole. Well, she's giving the party after all. She's what? Well, at least they're her premises. Hey, you noisy lot over there, both of Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid the party's over. Party's oh, over? Nobody's half Kaylide yet, Mum. We've had some rather sad news. <laughs> she means for Fairclough. Party's over. Never <laughs> <laughs> mind. Would you let us say a piece? Oh, Perhaps keep so. your hair on, Jerry. It's, it's only a quip. Oh, it's a quip, aye. It's a quip, all right. A, a pleasantry, a jest. I mean, two people who got engaged here, and you think that's it, don't you? I mean, they're set up for the rest of their lives. Well, couples do get split up, you know. I mean, they, they die, get divorced. And then one of them's all that's left on their own. I mean, there's got to be one left to 
Van Corpen. You try doing that with a smile on your face. Oh, we know your past history, Jerry. It's not just me I'm talking about, Len. That's just a point. It's any poor beggar who gets linked up, who gets into, into loving somebody. Because what they don't realise is that they're on their own. I mean, you're all of you single, you know, whether you're married or not. And, I mean, it's the way you're born, it's the way you go. And, oh, people, about time people should realise as much. You see, everybody, what Jerry knows, and you don't, is that we've just had news of a sudden death. Yeah. Mrs. Turpin has lost her husband. Oh, oh God. God. And I feel sure, as a sign of respect, you'd all wish oh, to. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mum. Yeah. I'll pack it up. Thank you, love, as quietly as you can. Oh, sorry. oh dear. Mm. Things, I won't be a tick. Who's going to open up here for tomorrow? Well, it won't harm them if nobody does. Alf, I must stay with her tonight. Ah, oh, fair enough. It's just me being practical, love. Don't worry. You know, we might need that, if it's not imposing. Well, I'll look after the funeral arrangements for you. Give you time to attend Betty. Oh, I'll be grateful. Quite frankly, I wouldn't know where to begin. I do. Yes. It's funny, isn't it? It's me and Les. If that news came of him... Would you not mind? Would I? I don't know. I remember once he was laid on the floor, blind drunk. No chance of shifting him upstairs. I got a blanket, put it over him, all the sort of thing I'd done time and time again. But just this once, I thought. Please, in the morning, don't wake up. To drive you to think that. <laughs> not so happy days. You know, what Jerry said reminds me of you. What Jerry said? Well, yes, the way you keep yourself fenced in, as if you were well, scared of... The words he used were getting yourself linked up. Not now, Alf, please. Maybe not. Les and me were never a couple. Not in the true sense. Not like Betty and Cyril. I don't know what I'm missing, I suppose. You don't pine for what you've never had. I manage all right on my own. Only manage? I won't be long. Yes, love, is all organised. Maggie's spending the night with her, Len's driving them over, and Alf said he'd go too. So they don't need me then? No, but if you would help Bet to clear up. All right. Oh, it's a funny sort of marriage. When you think of all the hours she put in here. Some marriages work best that way. Doesn't mean they weren't devoted, because I rather think they were. That nah, wouldn't suit me, though. No. Well, if I were to get married, I think <laughs> I'd want... <laughs> you! Well, it has crossed my mind, you know. I crossed out again. No, no, joking apart. Joking I'm... apart, I'd be very happy to see you married. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Oh, come on. What is it that Madame Duda said on the end of Southport Pier? Her name was Madame Louisa. Yeah, well, she said you'd live on into your 80s. Might as well, don't leave it too long, Billy. Well, she's in bed, if not asleep. Ah, oh, it's funny, isn't it? Strange hours. I couldn't find the light switch on the landing. I kept bumping into things. Oh, you didn't come here much, then? Ah, uh, shows you I didn't. No. All these traces of Siddle, eh? Everything in its place. There's no wrong with that. It wasn't just your PC plod, you know. Finickety. That's how I remember him. That fight he had. What a fella leaning on Betty. It's understandable, isn't it? I couldn't say what he was like, to tell you the truth. You only saw what he wanted you to. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean to say there wasn't more to him than met the eye. Yes, Alf, I agree. Come on, mate, we'd better push. Oh, hang on. Uh, is it upstairs, love? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Len, I'm sorry it uh, had to be tonight. Oh, I was glad to get away. I began to feel like a star turned myself, like someone playing the part. You don't mean you... Oh, Rita and me? No, no, that's real enough. I'm glad. Me to your party. If there ever is one. <laughs> Could be. I dare say. <laughs> What's the joke? Oh, nothing. You were quick. Aye, I didn't uh... find the light switch. <laughs> no, I didn't like to go up. Fact is, she's crying her heart out up there. We'd better go then, eh? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll pop in tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you, both. I'll try and get some sleep, eh? She gone to bed, is she? Yeah, she looks all in. Yeah, I bet. Oh, she coped terrific tonight. Right. Don't you go giving her grey hairs. What? All oh, that kerfuffle with that bloke, the one that gets himself steamed. Oh, out. you mean the nutcase? No, not a peep. You mean he's gone? Definitely. Kiss, kiss. Do you know it's been such a daft old evening? I think I will. What's up? Not fair. What's that? I should have four kids by now and be just about on the seven-year itch. And I should have been on my first million. We're not gonna make it, are we? You speak for yourself. Coronation Street, B694, <laughs> stroke 368, part two, take one. Moribund, do you think? I wouldn't have said so, no. I mean, if you felt our pulse, what would you feel? A, a flicker or a healthy thud? I'm sorry, aren't you, aren't you feeling very well? I'm pondering on us. Oh, we're ticking over. Oh, the community, Ernest. Whatever that word means. It means people living together. Yes, but do we, though? I know we close ranks when we're threatened, the worm old business of even last night when everyone heard the news, but times of that sort are special. And apart from in the rovers, where do people meet? Where do they mix and socialise? They don't. There's always a centre. Oh, yes, it's dead as a dodo, Ernest. It's just my point. Don't tell me. You feel a mission coming on. Can't we start up something? For what? Oh, something to wake us up a bit. To give us back our fizz and snap. We never had any. Oh, we did. I'm sure we did. Things weren't always as dead as this. You want to bet? I think you're a Puritan, Ernest. Oh, I most certainly am not. The mere thought of people enjoying themselves and... Letting go and having a bit of a no, fling? No, no, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It's just that I'd, I'd rather stagnate. That is actually what I would prefer to do. Well, you were certainly fun-loving once. In Spain, you were. That was an aberration. Well, couldn't you have one again? Oh, yes, I'm sure you'd like that, wouldn't you? No, with me this time. Let's put our heads together and think of something that everyone can do. Something nice and silly and frivolous. We take life far too seriously. Hmm. Tony, Tony, come on. The roof comes off as well, Dad. Yeah, what's in here? 140 miles an hour, Dad. We'll get one of these one of these, eh? Yeah, it's It's great, innit? It's even got fans. But well, you're taller than him, any road. Well, it makes no odds when you're lying in the long summer grass with his hot breath fanning your cheek. All right. What's he got that I haven't? That garage for a start. That dump. 
Well, he's not doing so bad by the look of things. Hey, hang on. This is a marvellous car, Yeah, I know, Jack. 140 miles an hour. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> Get a load of that. Hey, that's not going to do him any good, is it? You want to change horses, do you? Oh, really? We ought to tell him. Oh, all right. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. You see, I think what upsets Betty most is the fact that she feels she bullied him on the phone. Look, it's all right, Maggie. I've not lost my tongue. And never mind feels I bullied. I did. There is no point in reproaching yourself. Why shouldn't I? I mean, what else? What else do you think I've got to do? But there was a weakness there, Betty. I mean, he could have gone at any time. But he didn't, did he? He went as he was dashing through that gate to get to that stupid party. I know, I know. When all he wanted to do was to stop at home and rest. And you tell me not to blame myself. Elizabeth, Just that I couldn't dear. bear to see him alone. Elizabeth, dear, you will find... I know, because it's happened to me, that it isn't the way they die. It's the way they live we go on thinking about. I suppose it's coming to terms with things, because if we don't, we can't survive. I'm not so sure as I want to have me home. I know, dear, I felt like that, but it'll go, it'll go. It will, Betty, in time. Disappointments, too, you see. You have to deal with them in the same way. Because people who don't, well, they break down. The others somehow absorb them. We had our disappointments, Jack and I. I'm not obliged to tell him the past. Morally, I can't. Well, I'm not legally say. bound. Yeah, well, just suppose, just suppose, Billy, that car had been involved in an accident. No, Where would you be? a minute. I put that car back on the road. That was roadworthy, and nobody's saying it wasn't. Oh, no, he's just saying he's been done. Well, that's just his opinion, isn't it? I mean, one crackpot notice isn't going to bother me. Well, it might bother some of your customers. Well, that's why I took it down, isn't it? You're letting it rile you, Billy. Of course. I, I know the, the lettering's a bit rough, but, uh, you know, perhaps we could stick it somewhere obvious. Where do you suggest? Oh, not too high, not too low. Just about on eye level. Well, that depends on how tall you are, also what you're looking at. Yeah, true, true, yeah. Well, we agreed. To stick it, yes, where to stick it, no. Oh, well, behind the door, I would suggest. And most people have to pass out that way. More than you'd realise. It uh, advertises theatricals. I don't suppose you're that way inclined at all. Well, I'm brazen enough to have a go. It's all a question of uh, presence. God for it. Physical presence on stage. Why? Don't you think there's enough of me? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's not Oh, just... yes, of course, there is. Don't be rude, Ernest. We're mm. having a meeting this afternoon just to throw <laughs> ideas around, a sort of exploratory... Well, I'll uh, come if Mrs Walker's back, otherwise I'm afraid it's no. Uh, excuse me, I, I couldn't help over here. Oh, Jerry, uh... you must come. We'll need a man this afternoon. Well, I'm going to be there. Oh, no, Ernest, you don't count. No, uh, uh, what exactly is it about? Theatricals. Yeah. Well, it's a club. You see, we felt things needed livening up, so we put our heads together and hatched it out. Which means this. R-A-D-A. -A. Rovers Amateur Dramatic Association. Society oh, yeah. won't abbreviate. Well, not so uh, easy, you know. Yes, Ernest yeah. thought of that. Yeah, right. Well, come on, I'll give you Auntie Penny. Oh, oh Jerry, yeah, if you yeah, would. Yeah. I think we'll make people sit up. Oh, I'm sure you will. Oh, thank you. I don't drink. Well, you ought to. It soothes your nerves. I'd say you had trouble with your nerves myself. I would like my car back, please. Oh, yeah. Lost it, have you? You know very well. Oh, when did you last have him? I left it outside your garage. Really? I didn't see it. Well, it was late at night. You weren't around. Late at night? What a funny way to carry on, isn't it? Billy, leave it. I want my car. What do you want your car back for? You say it's worthless. You reckon it's not worth 1,100 quid? It isn't. Well, I want it back and the money you took from me under false pretenses. Listen, mate, nobody forced you to buy that car. You saw it, drove it, liked it, paid for it, and now you're trying to lay down the law. Well, the law's just not interested, but they will be if they hear from me that you're spreading libel, creating a public nuisance of yourself. People... People should be protected. People should have the right to redress. What chance have the public got? What chance have they got when there are sharks like him about? Look, you'll find your car down by the canal. He told it there. Thank you. Uh, how do I get there? I'll show you. 
And just get in it and skedaddle. Oh, a rave. Ta, youth. Very much. That wasn't a fair fight, you know, Billy. You were? That fellow was shaking like a leaf. You could see him. He was shaking so much, he was damn near sick. Oh, at last we're beginning to see the light. That's the fellow that's on my back, that nut, that flaming maniac. Well, what have you got to play around with him like that for? Do you like seeing fellas shake? Get lost. Right, that's burial, not cremation. Flowers, yes. Uh, announcement in the paper. Yes, I think so. Yes, well, we'll need to work out what we want to say. I mean, he'll need to know as soon as possible. I don't, uh... I don't think many people, you know, not uh, not officially invited. Ah, oh, well, you'll still need to know. I mean, the uh, the cars, you know, the number and the Oh, order just of... the one, I think. Yes, well, that'll save some money. You know, you can spend 100 quid as quick as whistle. Uh, Alf's uh, going to see the undertaker, Betty. Yes, well, they make all the arrangements, you know. I I'm just checking and know what you want. Yeah, well, you just carry on. Uh, right. Well, it's uh, denomination next. Oh, oh well, uh, Cyril's not a church goer. I mean, uh, he's more of a, an agnostic, I'd say. But you were married in church, though, weren't you, Betty? Twenty-nine years we've been married. It's our pearl wedding next July. Uh, it um, it was nonconformist. I know that. Uh, yes. Uh, now, this car or cars, where would you like it to go to? Oh, here, I suppose. Yeah, and afterwards? Uh, the same. Uh, maybe we could uh, talk about this later. Yes, well, I've got an idea of what you want. If you'll just check the details with Betty. Do you know, they work the police far too hard. I mean, they're up half the night and then they're out in the snow. Well, my Cyril says it's because they're undermanned. Yes, they're undermanned. Well, I mean, it's bound to weaken a body, isn't it? I mean, a job like that, it's bound to take years off somebody's life. Yes, but his office job wasn't too hard, Betty. They thought a lot about Cyril in his firm. We've had the senior partner around to offer his condolences. Oh, yes. Oh, well, he'll want a cup of tea. I'll just go and put the kettle on. Oh, she's all right. Uh, she needs to keep busy. It keeps her mind off it. It seems it, to she's me... She's bound to be shot. I mean, everything coming at once. I don't think it's it her yet. Well, not sunk in, at any rate. Just as long as you're here when it does. Yes. And, uh, I, I think you'll find that uh, after a trying day, it's, it's very relaxing just to step out of your clothes and put on someone else's, so to speak. It's just step out full stop. I mean, with something like air, it is anyway. Well, yes, I, I know things are more uh, avant-garde. Well, um... we are going to be with it, aren't we? Or else, what's the point? Oh, the point is to, to bring us together. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it's a, a form of, of relaxation by casting off your inhibitions. Mm. Yeah, that's why they keep taking the clothes off. Uh, in the broadest possible sense of the word. I... Hey, that's a good idea. I mean, everybody could muck in and that. Mm, well, I don't know quite where we'd fit in, Lucille. And after all, it, it is our brainchild. Oh, it's all right. Stephanie Buxton saw it. I mean, there's this couple, you know, fuddy-duddy, middle-aged. Well, oh, they well, sing and they do a number. I think it's a little uh, premature to discuss an actual production. It's far better to take the temperature of the room. Pardon? I mean, assess how we all feel. Hey, I've got the record if you want to listen to uh, it. Look, I'm not all that sure about uh, musical things. I mean, it's not all of us who can even sing, you know. <laughs> well, it's the only thing I can do. Well, Ernie's musical, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. Ernest? Sorry? <clears throat> Ernest, please... Do concentrate. I thought you were making notes. I am, I am. I've, I've only got hair down up to now. With doodles. Uh, well, yes. Mm, <clears throat> I can imagine. I think we'll start again with a clean sheet. says she can't abide wreaths. This'll be from the Rovers, will it, love? <laughs> oh, yes, what with Mrs Turpin working here. Yeah. Bereavement's a very funny thing. It takes different people different ways. I think it's best when it's sudden. Mm. Uh, Mrs Walker, uh, Mr. can I ask Billy? Yes, he's in the back. Will he go through? Thank you. I'm not afraid. You're not when you've come near. I'll cling like mad. I know I will. Times I'd be glad to go. Uh, listen, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, well, if, I, if I'm late, just uh, put me up at the garage, will you? Yeah, well, it, oh, it's just something or nothing. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, Billy, I'm collecting for the wreath. Oh, I just a Oh, those awful cars. I don't think anyone should have them. They shouldn't be allowed. Put me on a business, that. Yep. 